Hey guys, welcome to... I <laughs> I feel like the last cast was the worst cast I've done thus far, as far as all of Gosu League, or Hasu League, really, BSL casting's gone this far. This is the next match between Master Ray and Dreamer. I should actually make a correction to myself in the comments. But Master Ray is in a commanding lead 3-1 to one overall. Dreamer was able to pick off that one match. This is best of 7, not best of 5. And I also got additional clarification. So we, we do have Dreamer in Twitch chat again. Invite you guys to come watch these casts live. But Dreamer wanted on Gold Rush to go 12 Nexus because of the oddity of the map and because it was a three player map. But he ended up getting scouted first by Master Ray. And honestly, Lucky Noob's here. He I, I think it was Lucky Noob or maybe it was Optimator or Sony. Anyway, someone pointed out that when Master Ray scouts you because he is such a calculated player, and because he plays so precisely, and just really, he's, yeah, very intelligent. When he has scouting information, it is very difficult to beat him. And so I'm almost wondering what, if there's like statistics on what his record are. Apparently it's an inside joke, good to know. Uh, I'm wondering what his, I legitimately though, I am wondering what his, um, oh, he forgets to scout sometimes. Inside joke, because he forgets to scout sometimes, go figure. So I'm being all serious about it, but I do actually, like legitimately, I think, when he has scouting information, he wins games. <laughs> see, this is the experience to get in live chat, which you don't see. You don't even see it on screen. I wonder if I could paste chat up here. Whatever. I'll get around to that eventually. Simulator opening. But seriously, though, when Master Ray has that scouting information, he just seems like he's strong and in a good position. Two gate opener. By the way, this is Sylphid. And I'm wondering what his record is on Gold Rush in particular. Because that is a map where it is so hard to deny your opponent any sort of information. So hard. Both players, by the way, three player map, they are scouting to the... One player scouting counterclockwise, the other scouting clockwise. So they're going to end up scouting each other's base last. I think that might be an advantage to Master Ray. Because Dreamer, so he is getting his ult first, but he's got that Cybernetics core. Dreamer needs to win this to stay alive. Also, I wanted to do, before the game gets really crazy, I wanted to give clarifications. So, from the round of 32, as far as group stages go, that's what determines Pro League versus Gosu League. Hasu League, though, stays Hasu League. So, you don't advance. Everybody, it just, you, you gotta go through the other rounds. So, if you win Gosu, you do advance to Pro, but otherwise, yeah, it's to kind of keep MMR within a certain range. I encourage everybody who is a regular Brood War player and watching this, though, or interested in being a regular Brood War player to either get involved in CPL or BSL. Master Ray holding that scout out. He is going to move forward with those three zealots. Is he going to continue with this? He's going to stick to three zealots. Is he going to drop that assimilator? Behind? No, he's going to continue with just pure zealot pressure. So it'll come down to micromanagement. Unfortunately, ooh, this is going to get rough. Dreamer needs to put down either another gateway or also a shield battery. He needs a lot more to defend this. Because this is three zealots make, uh, moving up. Plus a probe, honestly. This is not going to get defended. Probably going to get fully breached here. Yeah, trying to reshuffle a little bit here. Might be able... Ooh, that probe might get taken out, which is at least something. But this is three zealots on top of that Dragoon that have really closed the distance immediately. I like what Dreamer did here. And kind of pressed that corner to kind of draw those zealots off. The zealots making their way across. Nice plopping down that second pylon. just So they couldn't just concentrate that pylon down. More units are going to be making their way this direction. Probes... Coming across to try to fight those zealots in the mineral line. Unfortunately, now Master Ray is right on top of that Dragoon. It is going to be and two Dragoons out, though. And looks like he's going to be able to defend it. He's going to be able to defend it. And that zealot just actually... There we go. It was AFK for a second. Not a bad defense from Dreamer. I thought that was going to go a lot worse. A lot worse. However, he is down six probes overall. They were able to get in the mineral line and do a lot of damage. Critically though, Dreamer now is going to have range and a lot of Dragoons where Master Ray is going to have none. So if he can get a couple of these Dragoons forward, he might be able to get some additional damage out and basically take the game from just doing that. Two Zealots still hanging out in front. Master Ray sneaking out a couple Zealots just in case Dreamer went for that to go for kind of a backstabby attack. Another gateway for Master Ray realizing his situation. So I think he's just going to double down on Gateway Man. Cybernetic score still remaining silent. He is mining gas, though, so it is possible we'll see some Dragoons. We are seeing some Dragoons. Those Dragoons now moving forward for Dreamer. Unfortunately, he's moving those out right, so it looked like he was going to go two gate. I fought this off. Let me plop down a Nexus. 
And unfortunately, Master Ray does have these zealots in the back corner. And so this is just bad luck, to be honest, on Dreamer's part. So he's moving his Dragoons out to intercept anything. But these zealots have already gone the far way around. Smart play by Master Ray. And so this is just going to be timing. As soon as these zealots and these Dragoons are engaged here, these zealots for Master Ray are going to sneak into that back corner. They're going to see everything, first of all, so a lot of scouting information, but also might be able to get in that probe line again. So yeah, now you can see them moving on the mini-map. And Master Ray with the close reinforcement point, three gateways, everything else, should be able to defend this. That's just... That's just... That's, uh, first of all, a brilliant play by Master Ray. But second of all... Yeah, and this is the other thing, is Dreamer is so concentrated on doing that micromanagement right there that he can just walk right in. Probe's coming offline and try to defend this, but that's more disruption in mining. And that's also allowing these zealots to just kind of run their way forward for Master Ray and do some disruption there. And there's GG from Dreamer. Ugh! Oh, that's a hard way to lose it. Well played by Master Ray. That was very sneaky zealots. I was actually hoping that I was... Here's the thing. From a meta standpoint, I'm like, okay, I got Dreamer in my chat. So I'm assuming he might have won this match and wanted to see his victory in in a in Hasu League, but unfortunately, instead, nice play by Ma Master Ray, sneaking those zealots across into the probe line, getting the big advantage. Ah, Master Ray, smart guy. Congratulations to Master Ray, though, Hasu League champion for BSL Season 11. I'm not sure if I'm going to swing back and do the rest of the Chobo League games from here, but I definitely want to see if I can cover. Maybe I'll switch between Hasu and Chobo League. I definitely want to see if I can get some good coverage of Hasu League for Season 12. Yeah, this was the yeah Season 11 Finals. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <clears throat> Thank you guys for sticking with me. And thanks for listening. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Again, congratulations to Master Ray. Check out his casts of all of BSL as well. Thanks for listening.